Since it's fall and close to Halloween, we're going to carve our own jack-o'-lanterns. We're going to use Illustrator to do that today so it won't be nearly as messy. To get started, let's go to the Computer Applications Classroom and find the template that's been created out under the stream. I will click on pumpkin.ai. I'll need to go to the little More Actions menu in the top right-hand corner. Open it in a new window so that I can then click the download button to download it. Now that I have the template downloaded, I'm going to open Adobe Illustrator CC 2018 and go to File and say Open. Look in my Downloads folder, scroll down until I find the pumpkin, and open that up. So my pumpkin file has two layers. One has the base pumpkin layer and the other one is blank. I did that so that you know to get started with the new layer to, to draw your face and all the other shapes. I'm leaving the pumpkin layer unlocked for now because if you'd like you can select that and fill it with whatever, whatever color you like. If you want to go traditional orange you can do something of that nature. If you want to do something else like purple or any other funky color you're welcome to do that as well. So I'm going to do just real basic. You can certainly do better than me, but I'm going to just come in here now. I want to lock that layer pumpkin, that pumpkin layer and come into my new layer to draw my face. And again, like I said before, I'm going to keep it basic just for the shortness of the video, but you can certainly do something much more interesting than me. I'm going to set my fill color to black and have uh, no, nothing for my stroke. So I'm going to start drawing with my pen tool and I can create myself some pretty interesting eyes here. And you're welcome to do other things if you'd like. If you like to have an eye, if you'd like to have your eye the same on both sides, you can go up to Object and say Transform. And if I go to Reflect, I'm going to move this off to the side so you can see it, check the preview box, and then choose copy. I might want to add a pupil for my eye, so grabbing my dropper, I'm going to click on my pumpkin to pick up that same orange that I used before, and now I'll take the stroke off. I can grab a shape in here. Now I don't have to stick just with my pin tool, if I know I want an oval, come down to the shape tool with the rectangle, fly that out, and choose the ellipse tool. If I click and drag and make an oval, I can move that oval up, making a bit of a, let's put it over here where the line isn't. And if I copy and paste that with control C and control V, I can bring that over to my other eye, and you maybe decide you don't want your pupils to be even. I can also make shapes using the shape tool. Here's the rectangle tool. I'm going to change back to black. Now what if I want this that's kind of a pretty rectangly nose. I'd like to maybe turn that into a triangle. One option is to use my white arrow pointer. Come in here, I, I unselected it by clicking off of it, and I clicked, it, I clicked back on this point here. Now I can manipulate these points and I can use my black arrow pointer to scale it down. I have a triangle for a nose. You can get as creative as you want. Again, I'm going to do things pretty quickly. I might make a, a mouth with the pen tool. I always feel like it's a little bit more evil to have my pumpkin smiling. And you could come in here and add teeth. Maybe I use the pen tool for that. Pick up my orange and I can come in here and make some teeth if I want. Let's take the stroke off of that. Okay, that's real quick and dirty. You can do much better than me. You can uh, put a flame uh, color inside of here, whatever you'd like to do. The last thing I'd like to do to finish this up is put a title all around it, maybe say Happy Halloween, and to do that, 
I'm going to create an arc using my pin tool. I'm going to set the line of that to be whatever my line is with no fill. And then I'm simply going to come up to my type tool, fly out my type tool, and choose type on a path. Coming down to that path, I can select that. You're going to get this blank text here. I'm going to type Happy Halloween. Highlight your text. Go to Properties, and then you can change your font. You can maybe look through your fonts and see if there's anything that might be suitable move your size up bigger and then using your black arrow pointer you can move that underneath do a little rotate on that and now I have my jack-o-lantern I can go to file and choose save as I don't want to put it in the downloads folder I want to go to this PC and choose documents I want to put it into my computer applications folder and maybe I call it jack-o'-lantern. Choose the default options, click OK. And I hope you have a good time carving your pumpkin today. Good luck!